Welcome back. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I wanted to bring you guys some favorites of my products that I have been loving. Not so much on monthly faves because you guys know I don't come every month with favorite products because half the time they're just going to be repetitive. But just some things that I have been reaching for a lot lately. And one product that I've been using not so much for its intended purpose but just to use and yeah so anyway let's just get right into it so the first thing is this big container this is the sephora super supreme body butter okay mm, it smells so good this sucker is 15.8 fluid ounces i don't see when i'm going to uh ever run out of this the kids aren't that fond of the smell so they don't use it i however think it smells great um even the husband thinks it smells good so yeah it's smooth it's silky um it definitely moisturizes i tend to use this a lot on my feet because i'm a little ocd when it comes to to my feet i don't like feeling my feet dry so this is something that i definitely use a lot for my feet and like those hard areas the feet the elbows the knees i definitely use it a lot in those areas and it works great moisturize all day no problems next up is one that you've seen a hundred gazillion times and that's my dior bb cream and it's perfect for summertime because it's very lightweight kind of gives you an even coverage and um you don't feel heavy you know for me this is a great everyday thing if you want to put on makeup every day or if you at least want to just have some kind of coverage even out your skin tones and anything like that i will still go over with a little bronzer um but i i'm not doing the heavy contouring and the highlighting under the eyes y'all don't see anything on right no just this next up is another one that you've seen a gazillion times and this is the mac blush in format <laughs> i've officially hit pan and um i definitely need to get another one it sucks that when you back to mac we can't get blushes because lord knows i'd get like five of these with all the stuff i need to return right now um but this is format blush i love to use this um, I actually use this to contour um, and I do use this as a bronzer as well as a blush as well as an only powder on my face for the day because I absolutely love this. I do love the red undertone that it has but again you guys have heard me speak about this blush numerous times so this is by far my number one favorite blush from MAC. Yeah. Next up is this Cover Effects Radiant um luminescent powder and i've got the color golden bronze and it comes in a tube like this i like to use this with a um a big powder brush and just dust it all over the shoulders the this area you know i can't say that term the that area all over the boobs and the necks and everything like that oh and if i look dark guys I just got back from Dominican Republic, so this is all suntan. Yeah. Um, next up is this lip gloss from Inglot that I got ages ago. I want to say I got this for my birthday in 2014 or 2013 because honestly, that is the only time I hit up Inglot. I kid you not. My birthday first stop is Inglot. That's that's really the only time I shop there. So I got this lip gloss here, which you can kind of see. I don't know if you can, if it's picking up on camera, the iridescence of it. I have another one here in um, a pink one. And I'll swatch it for you guys. Now with these glosses, in all honesty, I just thought it's not going to give much color. Um, that's the purple one. I don't know if you guys are picking up that iridescence to it. Like from here, the pink one right now looks actually green. So freaking cool. And I'm, I'm thinking, okay, these are not going to give much color. Um, so I kind of threw them in a drawer. I thought maybe put them over a lip gloss. Maybe it had that alter-ish kind of changing crap. 
Anywho, I packed <laughs> this up to go to Dominican Republic thinking I'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup anyway, so I just need a gloss on my lips for every day. And, and I took this and I would throw it on my lips, put it in the, you know, the purse. Everybody's grandmama had their money in the purse while I had my lip gloss in my purse. And I would put this on, I kid you not, I never looked in the mirror when I put this lip gloss on and I had no idea that it was purple. Like, it was actually purple. <laughs> it actually came out purple. And the only reason I know it came out purple is because my husband kissed me and I was like, why you got purple stuff on your lips? And he said, because your lips are purple. And I was like, my lips are not purple. I have on clear gloss. He said, no, Bobo. He pulled out his phone, sh put the camera in my face. And I said, but I put on a clear gloss this morning. So I went in my purse and I took it out. And I said, ah, it's purple. It does have the hint. I have something else on my lips right now. So I don't think it's going to pick up. But, um yeah i put this on my lips my lips were purple my lips were straight purple i thought that was so freaking cool i used the pink one every now and then it doesn't really give off a pink it just gives off a hint but this one my lips actually are purple which is so freaking cool i don't even know if they still make these anymore but i'm glad i didn't get rid of them Another lip product that I don't even use it for its purposes because I don't, it doesn't, it hasn't done anything for me. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Lip Gloss. Okay, so the reason I got this, first of all, was because I had the other one, the very first one. And I found it in my drawer and I said, oh, this would be a great color for everyday, all day wear because you guys know I detest dry lips. I look at my kids be like, you better go put some Vaseline up on them lips or something. Because that's not cute. It's not cute. So I wore it throughout the house. And I didn't feel anything or, or, or anything like that. And so I said, you know what? Let me try the next level. Everybody's on this lip plumping thing. Of course, I got lips. I got, I got lips. I don't need this crap. And I brought it. And I'm just like, it's supposed to do something. What's it supposed to do? I don't know. It didn't do a damn thing. It did absolutely nothing where did the sun go okay the sun is playing hide and go seek so it, it did nothing but it gives this gorgeous shine to the lips that I love and it's not tacky it's not sticky so it's something that I literally stand up on my my dresser and as I go throughout the day, I grab it and I put some on. Now, here's the kicker. I put some on. And then one day, I had it on. And again, the husband is just, he's just like the guinea pig for everything. He kissed me. And then within five minutes, he was like, babe, babe, what you put on your lips? What do you have on your lips? I don't remember. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, something wrong with the lips. My lips, they burning. They <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, why, why would your lips be burning, boo? Why, why are they burning? He's like, oh, what you had on your lips? This is something that's not right. Give me something. So I gave him a makeup remover to wipe off his lips. Of course, I'm not seeing anything on his lips. And he's like, it just don't feel right. It's not right. It's tingling. So um, it, then it clicks in my head as soon as he says tingling. Oh, so that's what it's supposed to do. Because it ain't been doing nothing for me. It, it, ha it hasn't done anything for me. So in regards to this lip injection stuff, plumping lips, it don't do anything for me. It, there's no tingling. There's nothing, nothing at all whatsoever and um obviously my lips have not changed in size so with that being said don't waste your money trying to get a lip injection why 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 are we doing that why are we trying to get these voluptuous lips why are people that don't have them trying to get them and why are people that have them <coughs> black women trying to make them bigger than what they should be i don't know work that out ladies work that out 
two more things guys this is the Clinique moisture surge surge moisture moisture surge intense fortifying hydrator it is a moisturizing lotion it's a cream has a lotion smell to it whatever but it's great for super dry skin so this is a product Oh, excuse me, that I actually use in target areas. I don't use this to moisturize my entire face. My target areas, you can kind of say, it's just like oily people, that T-zone. Um, the center, this part right here, where everybody try to make shine with that highlight, right her, right her, right her, is where it gets very, very dry. Very dry, very flaky. The sides around the nose right here as well, very dry, very flaky, and then around the mouth, this whole like chin area. And this tends to be my breakout area. If, if and when I have breakouts, it's always in this area. But this area is also a target area for excessive dryness. So I take this and I rub this bad boy in in all those areas. And I let it sit. And then I go in for the rest of my face with the um, Clinique Moisture Gel Pump thingy. And I moisturize the rest of my face. Of course, if I'm going to do makeup, then I'm going to go in with a primer. And so far, the primer I've been loving is the Hourglass number 28 serum that I think the heavens for that. So those two kind of work together for me. And I'm, I'm no longer finding patches when I put my makeup on of, of skin, of flaky skin. So that is also that's the bomb it's a sample size so i'll probably get the full size and lastly are these lashes from coco lashes i got these from the makeup show and i think they were at the makeup show it was like buy four four for twenty dollars four pairs for 19 or 18 dollars i don't believe it was 20 dollars because he gave me back change so it was either four pairs for 15 maybe i don't remember but it was four pairs for something and it was less than 20 because i remember him giving me giving me back change so it was definitely less than 20 and the ones i've been loving are the misha lashes and hopefully you can see what they look like um, I have worn these before and here's a little tidbit guys with lashes most of these lashes that we have you can actually wear them more than once um, two things that you can do or that I do when it comes to my lashes if I can grab this case over here is number one I'll have a, a lash case and in this lash case that I actually cannot open here we go I have two of my favorite lashes so i keep those in here and once they're in here i know that these i've actually worn once because once i wear them twice i get rid of them but for the lashes like these that are in pretty specialty boxes or even some that are in the the plastic um containers if you can what i do is i just write on it so that's the number one which means i've worn these one time Actually, I've worn them twice, but I didn't mark them, but I had them on the other day. So these Coco lashes are really, really nice lashes. I love the bands on them. I love the way they feel in my eyes. Sometimes when I put lashes on, or probably you out there, sometimes it, you got to give it a minute before you no longer feel like you have something on your eyes. These are actually don't have that issue from the jump I put it on and I don't feel anything they adhere very nicely and I actually want to get a few more but I definitely like the Misha I've worn the other ones from them once but the Misha and the Iris are the two that I've worn a couple of times so um, and I want to say I've worn this more than two times more than two because I know I just put it in I just wore it this week and then I I know I wore it before to someone's uh, party and then I used them before in a tutorial so I've worn these at least three to four times actually but um, yeah just put a little nodule in the back so you know how many times you've used it they're not mink lashes they're not but they're really really good um, and that is it I love these. Anybody else love these? These are the Airhead Bites, Fruit Bites. 
I don't know. I love airheads. And these are just, they just pop them in your mouth and they're delicious. But I can't stand the blue ones. Lord knows I can't stand the blue ones. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope all of you have an amazing day and a great weekend, guys. Bye.